All right, so we are just taking the rolls of turf off of the truck here. We're going to take it out back, and what we're going to do is let the sun relax it a little bit because turf is a petroleum-based product, so with the sun and heat, it's going to expand, and when it gets cold, it's going to contract. So while we're prepping our base and getting the finishing touches on that, we're bringing these rolls over. We're going to roll them out, let the sun hit them for a little bit, take the saran wrap off, you know, just let it relax as much as possible because when we start kicking the turf, that's how we're going to stretch it the best. But letting the sun do it is is never a bad idea beforehand. And on this day, it was a little bit cooler. So I, I knew that we needed to let the sun hit it as much as possible. So left it out there while we were doing our fine tuning on our base. And then once we were ready, I just went ahead and cut off the commercial edges of the of the turf. Uh, in this instance, you know, there's a couple ways you can do it. You can go in a couple of stitch rows or you can just follow the stitch row uh, on the on the very end. On this one, I knew that we were going to be trimming off at, at least a couple of inches. So I was just getting the commercial edge off of there um, because the, the total width of our install was 26 feet and the rolls of turf come in 15 foot wide sections and we had two of them. So it's 30. So we had plenty of room on the outside. And, and here, since it was a little bit, a little bit cooler of a day we i just took the power broom and i wanted to fluff it up a little bit to allow the sun to really get in the, the blades of turf and relax it let the blades stand up um, i don't always do this uh, but because it was cold or colder than normal in utah i just wanted to give it give us the best chance of fluffing it up